This painting is called, it's about finding a place to disappear. And it's not only a place to disappear for the tiny creatures in the woods, but it's also reminds me of like a kind of a safe space for people to disappear. And one of the things I love about painting at this scale is that it's hard for us to tell how big we are in relation to the forms in the painting. I'm really interested in painting things that are very small, much larger than life, so it feels like you can almost enter into it. When I was working on this piece, I was really fascinated with the spider webs and just all the different geometric shapes that they would bring into something that's very, very organic, like all the rocks and the dirt and the roots and things growing on the roots and then the the spider webs that kind of introduce like triangles and and, and sharp angles and that was really interesting to me and then uh, the other thing that i really enjoyed about creating this painting is the idea that it was going back into darkness and there was all these levels of color working t and building towards those darker darker areas so there's like a lot of like deep burnt umber and and violet and maroon and all these really subtle shifts in color at the lower values. I remember working on this part, which is like the main root structure that was like kind of falling away. This is a hillside that like, I remember that summer in, um, in Oakland, it was really, really dry. It was a drought. And so everything was very dusty. And in the woods, the trees were like losing their the ground underneath them on the hillside so this is like kind of like where the hillside fell away and we're like looking into it as if we're like the size of like a little maybe rodent or a little insect kind of crawling into this cavernous world